Hi, everybody. So let's talk about kingdom marriages, right? And let's talk about why it's so hard for some of us. So if you recently have been asking God the question or been saying, God, why is it so hard? Or it shouldn't have to be this hard. Um, God dealt with me about that today because I went back to God about this after having a conversation with my sister in Christ. I went back to God about this and I said, well, God, well, why is it so hard? You know, why is it harder for some of us than others? Because, you know, there's just some women and some men who just meet at a church and they marry. Walking outside at the church, you know, doing something with the church function or, you know, serving or something. Right. And they just meet and voila, they're married. So I was like, well, God, well, why, you know, for those of us where it's harder or it's, it's taken, you know, longer, what, you know, what's going on? Holy Spirit began to speak. We have an assignment. God has assigned those of us to kingdom marriages. Those of us who are going through it on this journey is taking longer um, to meet our partners, our God ordained spouses. We are on assignment we our testimonies are gonna, are gonna go from single to engaged to marry, but we're gonna talk about how when we were single, how we survived the waiting season, how we went through our engagement, what's happening now that we're married, things along those lines. We are going to be the ones that bring hope back to people, where people can look at us and say, "Oh my God, that's the type of godly relationship I want." We are going to be a testimony. We're going to bless others. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? If you've been wondering like what your assignment is, when you get married or before you get married, honestly, because it starts before you get married and then after you get married, it's going to be your assignment. Not every married couple has a marriage ministry or a marriage assignment to, t to show and be the example of godly marriages. They just don't have it. Some people are just in the back home chilling, living their lives. You know what I'm saying? But many of us will have marriage testimonies and we are to spread the good news about God's design on marriage because as we all know Satan oh my God that Satan has truly flipped and reversed marriages everything that is supposed to be right is wrong everything that is wrong is right you know he's a big copycat he steals he's a thief he comes to kill and destroy and he has destroyed God's design on marriage so if you have ever asked the question hey father why is this so hard what's going on Here's your answer. And this will serve as confirmation for many of you because God has already been dealing with you on why it's so hard. God has also been telling many of you to be patient. He's telling you to be patient for a reason. Yeah, I got to chill. I know it's tough. I know you want your man. Fellas, I know you want your woman. I know you're tired of being single. I get it. But honestly, we have to learn how to wait healthy, healthily. We have to learn how to wait in a healthy way. Right now, many of you are waiting in the most unhealthy way. Y'all are self-sabotaging. Y'all are in your minds, in your heads, in a state of self-pity, worry, self-doubt. You don't believe. And it's like, that's not how we're supposed to be waiting. We're supposed to be so engulfed in our ministries and in God and what he got going on. And, you know, in the word and, and, and figuring out who we are and having fun and living life and enjoying being single. Being single, honestly, is a flex. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. If you think about what God has for you on the other side, if you if you want to be with a dusty, I don't want to be with no dusty. <laughs> think about the dusties you are avoiding by waiting on God. You know what I'm saying? Let me just kind of think about it that way. All right. So kingdom marriage is your assignment or one of your assignments because for many of you like myself are going to have multiple assignments it's not only going to be marriage ministry it might be abstinence and purity there might be something else outreach or, you know for something to work with children or to to work with men or women you might have a women's ministry you know you might have different assignments okay don't be double-minded about this a lot of y'all are saying i trust god i believe then at the same time it's taking so long i don't even know what's gonna happen anymore you can't say you trust god in one instance and the next it's taking so long i don't even know that's a spirit of double-mindedness you either gonna believe god or you aren't and for many of y'all if y'all would just move on out your own way mostly on out your way and focus on god how do i do this how you just do it there's no manual really you just have to do it. it starts with you you have to make the decision and say you know what i know what god promised me i know what he told me i know what's going to happen for me i believe and that's how you receive and that's also how you break chains off of you that's also how you stay ahead of the enemy with your belief okay all righty okay 
All right. I got to go. All right. But get it together. Okay. Bye.